Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2022 Variant 3.1 I am going to solve the spreadsheet task. The web page task is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So this is the spreadsheet task. Open and examine the file j31tables.csv. This should not be edited. So this is the balloon file and this is the tables file. So you can see this is the table file. Adjust the width so that all the data fits properly. Open and examine the file j31 balloon and save this as a spreadsheet with the file name balloon. So this is the balloon file. Now save this as balloon. The name is balloon followed by your center number and candidate number. And it should be saved as Excel workbook. Place in the header left aligned your name, center number and candidate number. Right align the automated file name with no file path. So insert header and footer. On the left side, your name, sender number and candidate number. And on the right side, the file name without file path. So you can just click on file name here. After inserting the header, you can go back to the normal view so go to view normal enter a formula in cell b5 to look up the equipment item using the item number in cell b4 for the value and the external file tables.csv so this is the tables.csv in this you can see the item number is given and the equipment item names are given in this table. So this is the item table. So using this table, we have to look up the equipment name in this file. So the item number is given here. Based on this, we have to look up. So equal to we look up. Click on FX to get the wizard. So lookup value, lookup value is the item number. So this is the lookup value. The table array is the table which shows the item number and the equipment name or the item name. So select this A32, B15. The column index will be 2 because the name is shown in the second column. So the column index is 2 and the range lookup will give 0 for the exact match. Give OK. So we got the value here. So this is the formula which we used for equipment item name. Enter a formula in cell B7 to display the date and name of the employee who checked the item of safety equipment using the balloon name, item number and the file tables.csv. So if you look at this file, you can see we have the item number given and the balloon name given here. Now based on these two values, we have to find which employee has checked that on which date using. So if you check the tables, you can see here the balloon names are given in this one. These are the balloon names. And here we can see the item numbers are given in order 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So according to the balloon name, so if the balloon name was alpha and the equipment number was 2, this will be the required result. If the balloon name was delta and the equipment number was 3, 
this would be the result. So the column index, we can use this table as the table array for the lookup value, but the column index will be based on the equipment item number. So if the item number is 1, the equipment, uh, the result is from column 2. If the item number is 2, the result is from column 3. If item number is 4, we should get the answer from column 5. That means the column index will be 1 more than the item number. This is possible because the item numbers are given in order. So we can generalize it in that way. So the column number is the column index is one more than the item number. So we already have the item number and balloon name will be the lookup value. So this is the file. We have the balloon name here and the item number here. So when we use the VLOOKUP function, VLOOKUP, the lookup value will be balloon name. The table array will be the tables, that means this table, from the balloon name till the end. From D4 to Q11. So that is the table. Now the column index will be, as I told, the it will be item number plus 1. 1 more than the item number. So I will select item number plus 1. And the range lookup will be 0. Now you can give OK. So this is the required formula. The lookup value is the balloon name. Then the table array. And the column index is the item number plus 1. And then the uh, range lookup is 0. You can see it is eta and 7. So you can check whether it is correct. Here the balloon name is eta and the column index is 7. That means this one. And you can see this is our result here. So this formula is done. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. It is in it should be in landscape row and column headings visible. So we need to print this, this spreadsheet showing the formula. So to show the formula, go to formulas, show formulas. And make sure everything is visible. Just click at this corner and double click so that everything is visible mm -hmm. clearly. Now when you are printing, go to file, print. It should be landscape and row and column headings visible. So set it to landscape and then row and column headings. Go to page setup, header, uh, sorry, sheet, row and column headings. So the row and column headings are shown here and you can print. Now come back to the spreadsheet. Enter into cell B3 the text beta. So before that let us remove the formula. So go to formulas you can deselect this so the formula is not shown now adjust once more by double clicking now we have to enter the value beta and the number is 2 so here we have to enter beta and the item number is 2 so accordingly the values will change now we need to print this, Print. Uh, make sure it fits on single page and contents are fully visible, row and column headings are not displayed. So you have to print it, go to print, remove the row and column headings from here and you can print it. You can make sure it fits on, fit sheet on one page. So now you can print this. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. You can find the web page task in the description. Thank you for now.